What's going on everybody, Jackie Terry, and today I'm going to show you how to get a good pump in five minutes. The main thing is starting off at your 80% of your one rep max, and what this is going to do, it's going to definitely shock your body, it's going to tap into all those carbohydrates that you ate, and basically you're just going to take energy from all your fat stores, your food stores, and which each rep you're constantly burning calories so doing this technique while you're fresh you're gonna get more reps in and as you see my spotters there just to keep my momentum so I'm able to get the majority of the reps so the more heavier I can hit these reps for the more calories I'm gonna burn because my metabolism is already up it's going up just by lifting this heavy weight because I'm tapping into my energy fat stores and as you see I dropped the weight by 90 pounds and of course now since my muscles are already fatigued I'm only gonna get it for about maybe five reps but this is good because it's allowing lactic acid to build up in my muscles which is essentially gonna cause muscle soreness so with this technique, you only want to take about a 60 second rest period because you want your heart rate to be up and you want to add shock to that body. You want your muscles to be sore. So essentially, now I drop it down to 40% of my one rep max. And what this is going to do with this light weight is it's going to be able to stimulate my muscles coming off a heavy lift i'm going to be able to contract more my muscles are going to be able to contract more with this light weight so i'll be able to get 10 reps it's going to stimulate my muscles really good so as you see now i'm going at a fast rep speed and what this is going to do is going to allow oxygen to pump right back into those muscles you see you guys whenever you lift heavy you're doing an anaerobics exercise so that means essentially without oxygen so when you don't have any oxygen pumping into those muscles you're tapping more into your energy's fat stores so coming very important when doing an anaerobics exercise you want to mix it up with aerobics and essentially start doing lightweight because heavy weight doesn't take that long to do. Your body's going to tire out in like 60 seconds. So as you see when I did the 315 reps, the 225 reps, I was on my reps were short. But at the same time I was able to stimulate muscle growth hormones and fat burning hormones at the same time just by doing this. Now I'm going to a lighter weight and as you see my breathing increases my breathing increases doing this technique because now I'm using oxygen as my energy as well so whenever you're doing lightweight for reps anything over 10 reps you're tapping more into the more of a endurance type of training so the key point in weight training strength training you want to combine aerobics with anaerobics which means strength training with um, light weight. Essentially with the light weight, you're gonna essentially use oxygen as your energy. You're gonna use oxygen, water, and essentially um, carbohydrates that you ate. We'll just call it glucose. So you'll use glucose and water and oxygen for your energy. And by doing multiple reps, you will tap into that energy you'll tap into your fat stores on the contrary when you're doing heavy weight there's no oxygen it's nothing but food fat stores that you have in your body that you're typing into because you're not going to be able to get to the oxygen fast enough um when you lift heavy it's just a fast quick boost of energy that really tires out very very quickly so that's why you only see me get a few reps of the 315 but as you see the main objective in this training is to keep cutting that weight down 
Once you get to a lighter weight, it's easier to control. Your muscles are easier to contract. So very important, not just to touch on a heavy weight, but also touch on the light weight. So you can essentially control the light weight, get more reps in, do a couple hold reps if you want, but at the same time, do when you get to the lightweight set a 10 rep range set a 10 rep maximum when you do it so so you get the oxygen and the blood pumping back into those muscles and you can essentially reduce that lactic acid that has built up in your muscles from doing the heavy work so once again this technique only takes five minutes and as you see I go all the way down to the bar and wow in five minutes, five minutes or less. you can cause the ultimate muscle stimulation you can oh, cause man. fat burning hormones to stimulate your body you can cause muscle growth you can cause muscle confusion and as you see in five minutes my triceps my shoulders, my chest, they are all stimulated. Everything's on fire. So, you know, this is all in five minutes and you get a good pump in five minutes before you even go to work. So the main objective in this exercise is, you know, essentially it doesn't really take you long to get a good pump.